What's up everybody, Jake Burton here, and we are talking about the advanced table of time today. What? Yep, advanced table of time. So, in the first video, the basic, uh, the basic table of time, we talked about all those rhythmic rates. Today, we're going to be adding the quarter note triplet, the quintuplet, and the septuplet. Okay, those are the new additions of, of today. These are the ones that give people the most problems, okay? Now, you, you do use the quarter note triplet. But in terms of like quintuplets and septuplets, you better be like these are like some serious weapons. You know, you don't want to just bust out quintuplets on a gig, especially if you're playing with some musicians who maybe aren't that comfortable with like, like some crazy rhythms like that. That's a good way to get fired from a gig. So we want to talk about that right off the bat. Don't go out and be like, oh, I learned how to play. Jake Burton taught me how to play quintuplets. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, do not do that unless you're playing. Like on like a fusion gig or like with some jazz guys or like some heavy funk stuff where guys can handle it, okay? So kind of like my just the little caveat here is play according to the people that you're playing with. Don't don't make anybody mad by busting out set tuplets, you know, on like <laughs> you know some crazy like some ballad or something, you know, crazy. Crazy for feeling. Blah, 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 blah. Nope, you're done, dude. You're fired, right? So don't. So just be cautious with this stuff. But if you could, but here's the point of this stuff. It's not like, well, how do you play quintuplets on a gig? No. If you can understand quintuplets, if you can understand the minor, the minor detail between like sixteenth notes, which is a group of four, and quintuplets, which is a group of five, it's a very small detail. But if you can hear that, it's going to train your ear and make you that much better of a musician, right? So that's the concept here. Now, coming back to full circle, what we're talking about, you will use um, quarter note triplets. Those do come up fairly often, but quintuplets and septuplets, not so much. Okay, so just be careful with those. So let's talk about, we'll start off with the quarter note triplet. How do you even play a quarter note triplet? What is that all about? Okay, so I'm going to give you two approaches for this, and you can pick whatever one helps you. Some people, they like one approach. Some people, they, they like the other approach. Okay, so we already talked about how to play eighth note triplets, okay? Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So if, if you're trying to play quarter note triplets, get the eighth note triplet happening first. And we maybe went down an accident, just straight up, here's our click, bop, 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 eighth triplets. Okay? Do that with a metronome. Now what you want to do is you want to accent every other every other stroke. Okay, and then just go to the accent, and there's your quarter triplet, okay? So some people like that, okay? Some people don't like that, it doesn't help them. So let's try a different approach here. Another way to approach it is to count eighth note triplets, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, and you're gonna play an accent, you're gonna play the pad on, if we think, so if we think of a triplet as like three groups, right? Tri Pull, lit. Okay, that's cool. I understand that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the pad on tri, then lit, then pull. Wait a second. We didn't go in order. It's not tri, then pull, then lit. No, it's not. It's tri, then lit, then pull. Okay. So it's like tri, pull, lit, tri, pull, lit. Let's check that out again. Tri, pull, lit, tri, pull. Lit. Okay. Now we get a metronome going here, 70 beats a minute. That's a good starting tempo for the whole table time thing. Okay. If I'm counting triplets, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit. Let's take like a stepping stone approach. Okay. And do this with me on the video. Check it out. Triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit. Tri okay. I feel comfortable there. Maybe I've done that for a minute. Let's move on. Triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, triple. Triple it, triple it, triple. Okay, that's cool. I've done that for two minutes or something. Feeling comfortable. Moving on. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Okay, and then the whole thing, right? Triple it, 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 triple it. Okay, so that is the quarter note triplet. All right, cool. So let's work on transitioning between the eighth note and the quarter triplet. All right. Or maybe just the quarter note and the quarter triplet. Just start with. Okay, so here's a quarter note. Okay. Now in my head, okay, here's the deal. 
let me let me talk about this for a second. In lessons, I see people all the time. They're like, "Man, I don't I don't want to count. I don't do that counting stuff. I feel it. I just feel it." No, you don't. Okay? Because when you try to feel it, maybe if you already know how to play quarter note triplets, yeah, I feel them too, right? Because I learned how to play them already. But if you're just learning how to play quarter note triplets, you don't feel them, okay? Because you don't know what you're talking about. Count first. Get this thing down to where you can actually feel them, okay? Don't try to feel these from the beginning because you're probably not, not going to be able to, okay? So check it out. Count the quarter note. One, two, three, four. Cool. I feel good there. Now check this out. Triple it, 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 triple it. Quarter note. Two, three, four, one, two. Here comes the triplet. Four. Triple it, 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 triple it. Okay, now I feel comfortable with that. I've been counting for a while. I'm gonna try it in my head. Okay, but I'm gonna say the numbers in my head. Right, I'm not actually saying it in my head, but you will. All right, and here it comes. I'm going to count triplets in my head. Actually, I'm thinking about if I need to buy milk this week or not, but I'm kidding. All right, bam. Okay, that's the quarter note triplet. Cool. I understand it. Let's move on. Quintuplets. What? Quintuplets are groups of five, okay? And we're going to have a little handy-dandy saying to help us get through the quintuplets, just like we've had a saying for all the other, other rhythmic rates. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Okay, well, hippopotamus is five syllables. You can say any five syllable word, but we're going to use hippopotamus today, okay? And every time there's a click, we're going to say hit. So the accent will move from the right hand to the left hand because it's an odd number, okay? Any, any odd number will move hand to hand. Any even number, the accent will stay on one hand. And that's across the board for rhythmic rates, okay? So quintuplets. Hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. Now, check it out in relation to the click, okay? And do it with me on the video if you have trouble with this. Here we go, hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. Quarter. Let's try one bar of each. Hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. One, two, three, four. Hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. Hip. Okay, so that is the quintuplet. Well, let's see. Let's try this. Let's try to go from the sixteenth note, which is a group of four, like we talked about earlier, to the quintuplet, which is a group of five. That's kind of that's kind of hard. So let's work on that together for a second. Okay, we'll do we'll do two bars of each. Okay, here we go. Sixteenth first. Ready. Go. One, two, three, four, one. Now here comes hippopotamus. Three, four. Hippopotamus, 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 one e and a two e, three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. Okay, cool. So if you need to go back and do that like 500 times or however long it takes you, it doesn't matter until you get it, right? It won't take you 500 times. You'll get it like two times. I know it. All right. Now, coming up next, septuplet. Well, septuplet, seven, groups of seven, okay? And we're going to say purple hippopotamus. You can say stinky hippopotamus, whatever. Two, you know, purple hippopotamus, seven. Okay, so again, this accent, since it's odd, we'll move hand to hand. Purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple. Okay? Cool. Let's try it. The metronome is 70 beats a minute. Here it comes. Okay, sometimes it just helps to count with your mouth and not even play. So purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus, purple. Right? Alright. So let's try it going back and forth, like quarter notes for one bar, septuplets for another bar. Do it with me. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. And then here they come.
Okay, cool. So if you need to go back and do that a few times until it's comfortable. But let's work on like a, a, some rhythmic transitions now. Like we, like we said earlier, it's hard. It's okay. It's easy like to play it, you know, just by itself. But what's hard are the transitions, okay? So let's do like, let's work on going from like groups of six to groups of seven, which would be 16 triplets to septuplets, okay? Check it out. 16 triplet. Okay, I remember that one. How about septuplet? We just did it. Okay, cool. Now the hard part, put them together. Okay, I'm gonna do two bars of each. Ready? Go. Here it comes. Okay, so go back and do that a few times until it's comfortable. Now let's work on groups of seven and groups of eight, which will be septuplets and 30 second notes. Okay, cool. So let's start with 30 seconds, okay? Remember, 30 seconds sound like this. Okay, septuplets sound like this. Okay, cool. Let's start with septuplets. Ready? Go. Two bars. I'm, I'm, Two bars, ready? I didn't say that. Ready, <laughs> go. Right. Back, here we go. So, the entire advanced table of time. Again, there's a PDF. If you're on the website, on my website, there's a link right by this video. Just click on it, download the PDF, you're good to go. If you're on YouTube, uh, click on the link in the description, download the PDF if it helps you. There's like, you know, it just kind of shows what all the different rhythmic, rhythmic, rate, rhythmic rates look like and then the transition that we're gonna be doing these. So again, when you're working on this at first, don't try to go from the bottom all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. You know, we're gonna take this in baby steps. So you work on maybe just two rhythmic rates. If those are giving you problems, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then the next two, right? Up and down, up and down, until you're comfortable like that. Then try all the way up and all the way down. If you made it this far, that's awesome. Very, very nice, very nice. And we're going to now try the entire advanced table of time. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get there. We'll see what I can do, okay? No guarantees. <laughs> Starting so let's go through real quick, okay? You can, you can see them on the PDF, but whatever. Quarter note, quarter triplet. Eighth note, eighth triplet. Sixteenth, then the quintuplet, which is a group of five. Then the sextuplet, which is a group of six. Then the septuplet, which is a group of seven. And then the thirty-second, which is a group of eight. So again, we went back to the, on the first video. We talked about like the analogy of taking the, the drumstick and chopping it up into different rhythmic rates. The quarter note is an entire drumstick, okay? The quarter triplet is like 1.5. Weird, right? That was sort of weird to understand, but the eighth note is like two subdivisions. The eighth triplet is three subdivisions. The 16th note is four subdivisions. The quintuplet is five. The 16th triplet is six. The septuplet is seven. And finally, the, the 32nd note is eight equal subdivisions, okay? so. After all my yap, and I apologize, here we go, the entire advanced table of time, okay? We're gonna do, uh, we'll do two bars of each. Here we go. Ready, go. Sixteenth, here comes a quintuplet. Back 
down. Table of time. Any so if you, maybe you have like a bass player in your band that maybe his timing isn't so awesome, or the, maybe the keyboard player, or any any instrument, even vocals could work on this. Like think of Flow Rider, you know, like like dum bum 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 dugga 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 bum. You know, he goes back and forth between different rhythmic rates vocally all the time. So this is not just for drummers, right? This is for anybody. So if you're playing like piano. You could run these on a piano or on a guitar, working on picking or anything like that. So, uh, if you got somebody in the band who maybe, <laughs> you know, do it, do it tactfully. They'll be like, "Hey, man, check this video out." I know you can play all these rhythm bass, but I just wanted to show you, you know, something like that. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.